In Lesson 13, we're going to use some of the new features that are being released with the newest version of Inhibernate 3.2 Beta 1. Um, we're going to configure Inhibernate, and we're going to map and build some, some classes. Th then we're going to build the con configuration and the, and the session factory, and then we're going to use Git uh, to select some of the data that we insert. So we're going to install in Hibernate 3.2 Beta 1 and we're going to create a database using SQL Server 2008. We're going to create classes and map those classes using mapping by code which is a new feature in, uh, in Hibernate 3.2 and we're going to use the, the class by class method. And then we're going to configure in Hibernate uh, using a strongly typed uh, conf configuration uh, th then we're going to create the database using the schema export and schema validate and then we're going to insert and retrieve data from that database. All of the source code for this uh, lesson is available on my website at, at the best C-sharp programmer in the world com as well for all the, all the lessons that I've posted uh, is available there. I also have a blog there and I have 50-60 uh, blogs and I I blog each each month a number of times uh, to just to to share some of my experiences and as well if you don't want to type in that long URL just enter in the best C sharp program in the world into any of the major uh, search engine uh, and my website will show up as number one probably in part one uh, we're going to download install and reference the in Hibernate 3.2 beta one version. Go ahead and download it right now off of uh, nhforge.org and you can download the uh, 3.2 version and then we'll go through the steps of installing uh, and and referencing it from our from our C Sharp uh, console application that we're going to create. And then we're going to create a database without tables. Um, we're, we're just going to create the, the uh, database instance and then later we're going to use uh, schema export uh, which utilizes our our mapping files to create our database for us. After you've downloaded in Hibernate 3.2.0 beta version, uh, open it up and double click on the required bins. And you'll need to copy the ISC collections and the in Hibernate DLL to a location that can be referenced from our console application next. Next open Visual Studio 2010 and click on new project going to create a console application and we're going to call it NH schema test the next go into the solution and explorer and we're going to add those two DLLs to our reference so right click references click on add reference and then navigate to where you copied those DLLs to and click OK. Next, open up Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and right click on the, on the databases and click on New Database. And the d database name, we'll call it NH Schema Test and click OK. and there it is. In part two we're going to create a parent and child class using C Sharp uh, and then we're going to map those parent and child uh, classes using mapping by code which is a new feature that's uh, implemented with uh, in Hibernate 3.2. So next let's create our two classes add class call our first one parent and then add class I'll call it child modify your child class so it resembles this and modify your parent class so that it resembles this To map our classes, we're going to use mapping by code, which requires these two directives. So add them to the parent 
and add them to the child class. And for the class by class mapping approach, we'll, we'll add a new class into the same class uh, child that's called child map uh, that inherits from class mapping with the generic uh, parameter called child. And you see we have all of our mappings as, as well as a mini to one relationship with our parent. And within our parent class, we'll add another class as well. So that it looks like this. Again, we've inherited from the class map mapping uh, class. And we have a bag of children. So a parent can have multiple children, and which has a one-to-many relationship with the, with the child. In part three, we're going to create a configuration and a session factory uh, objects, and we're going to use a strongly typed configuration. The other type of configuration is, uh, for example, using uh, XML from the app config file. Now, because we're, we're, we're just using a simple console application, we're not going to create a configure a in hibernate based class or a con configuration class. We're just going to configure it directly uh, into the uh, main method. But I always like to make this public. And then we'll use these directives to complete our project. So we'll start by creating two pr a protected static configuration object and a protected static iSession factory uh, instance. And next we'll create a method that's called configure and hibernate. Basically it sets all of our all of the requirements for our uh, for our configuration, which is the dialect and the driver, uh, isolation level. We have our our con connection string which is hard coded here. It's not recommended you, you do it that way, but it, ma it makes it easier. Uh, and which configures our configuration object and returns the configuration. And then next, we'll create a get mappings method, which uses the model mapper. Uh, there is a dynamic way of going through all of your resources and assemblies to make sure you, you capture all of your all of your mapped uh, classes in your in your domain model, uh, but I'm taking I'm taking making it easy, and we're just going to use the uh, uh, some some uh, some hard coding here. So we use the compile for mapping method from the mapper uh, and pass it an array of the class of types which I want to be uh, mapped, and it returns. Uh, the mapping. The next we want to create a method that's called setup uh, which calls the configure and hibernate method which build, which builds our strongly typed in hibernate con configuration and then we will call our get mappings method uh, which maps all of our mapping by code um, entities and then we'll use this add, add deserialize mapping method to associate our mappings to our configuration uh, object and then ultimately we'll use our configuration object to build a session factory. And then we'll add the setup method to the main so whenever we we execute the program it will set up in Hibernate for us. And let's run it. success.